بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ایوری ون وی آر بیک ود لیکچر نمبر نائنٹین فار انگلش کمپریہنشن اینڈ کمپوزیشن بفور وی موو آن آئی ایم گوئنگ ٹو ٹیل یو دی آبجیکٹوز فار ٹوڈیز لیکچر وی گوئنگ ٹو ٹاک اباؤٹ ایس اے رائٹنگ دیٹ از این ادر ویری امپورٹنٹ کمپوننٹ فار آر رائٹنگ کمپوزیشن ان دس کورس دین وی ٹاک اباؤٹ کائنڈز آف ایس ایز ان لاڈ آف ڈیٹیل کیریکٹرسٹکس آف این ایس اے اینڈ سم سیمپل ایس ایز دیٹ ویل ڈسکس اینڈ یو ول بی ایکسپوز ٹو سم اسٹوڈنٹ سامپلس آف ایس ایز دیٹ ہیو بین رٹن ود اے لاڈ آف ہارڈ ورک اینڈ دے دیٹ ہیو بین ایڈیٹیڈ اینڈ چیکڈ بائی ٹیچرس اینڈ دیٹ ول ہیلپ یو ٹو انڈرسٹینڈ واٹ میکس اے گڈ ایس اے اینڈ پرائمیرلی ویل فوکس آن کائنڈز آف ایس ایز بیکاز دیٹس ون ویری امپارٹنٹ ایسپیکٹ آف ایس اے رائٹنگ اف یو ڈونٹ نو واٹ کائنڈ آف ایس اے یور ٹاپک فالز ان ٹو یو ول نیور بی ایبل ٹو کریٹ اور رائٹ اے گڈ ایس اے سو موونگ آن Let's just quickly discuss what essay writing is, kinds and characteristics. Essay writing is a short piece of writing that uh, discusses, describes or analyze, uh, analyzes one topic. So uh, it is a short piece of writing. We, we are not talking about a paper, we are not talking about a term paper, we are not talking about a thesis. Essay is short. ایسے میں یہ ہوتا ہے کہ آپ کو ہمیشہ ایک ورڈ لمٹ دی جاتی ہے جس کو آپ نے فالو کر کے وہ جو پیس آف رائٹنگ ہے وہ کمپلیٹ کرنا ہوتا ہے سو اٹ از کالڈ شارٹ اینڈ اٹ ڈسکسز ڈسکرائبز اینڈ اینالائز اے ٹاپک دیز آر جسٹ تھری پرپزز آف رائٹنگ اینڈ ایسے دیر آر مینی ادر جو ہم اس لیکچر میں ڈسکس کریں گے These are the kinds of essays and this is just a basic review of it. We'll discuss uh, longer uh, documents, handouts uh, in which we have uh, all uh, the various uh, definitions of these kinds. We have descriptive, we have definition essays, we have compare and contrast uh, and uh, cause and effect essays. We have narrative uh, process essays, argumentative, critical and imaginative essays. There are nine kinds and characteristics of an essay, uh, unity, order, brevity, style and the personal touch. These are the five things that uh, every essay should contain and we are going to talk about these uh, with a practical example and uh, uh, you will see that how a paragraph has unity, how is uh, the, how are the thoughts supposed to be in order, what is brevity and uh, how we have to take care of style of writing and the personal touch that we give to our writing. Now starting off with uh, this handout uh, with uh, different kinds of essays. We have all the various kinds of essays here uh, and we'll discuss uh, them in detail uh, along with all the components that they should have, uh, why we call uh, these essays uh, what we call them and uh, uh, what are the specific characteristics of these essays. An essay is a short piece of writing that discusses, describes or analyzes one topic. It can discuss a subject directly or indirectly, seriously or humorously. We can uh, use humor in our essays if it demands so. It can describe personal opinions or just report in information an essay can be written from any perspective but essays are mostly co most commonly written in the first person or third person subjects that can be substituted with he she it or they pronouns now essays are mostly written in uh, in, in the personal uh, first person pr uh, perspective but they can also be uh, written in third person uh, that is he she it or jahan pe namo se hum unko replace kar sakte hain there are many different kinds of essays the following are some of the most common kinds the first one that we will talk about is descriptive the most commonly uh, used and written uh, form of uh, an essay is a descriptive uh, essay the descriptive essay provides details about how something looks feels tastes smells makes one feel or sounds this is basically description the descriptive essays have or uh, give the description of anything of an object of a person of a scene of uh, of a movie of uh, uh, a situation it can be anything but it is description you use descriptive words you uh, use descriptive uh, transition words and you use uh, various techniques to to create a picture in the person's mind jo bhi cheez aap describe kar rahe hain uske bare mein it can also describe what something is or how something happened 
these essays generally use a lot of sensory details and sensory details are the details that directly affect your senses koi sound ka image hai wo istemal kar de to aap ko lagta hai jaise aap ye sound sun rahe hain something uh, something tastes in a particular way and you can feel the taste in your mouth you can you can smell something ye sensory details ke wale essays hote hain jinme bahut zyada ye details istemal hote hain the essay could be a list like description that provides point by point details or it could function as a story keeping the reader interested in the plot and theme of the event described it can be um, both ways uh, this kind of an essay can be a description uh, of uh, something or some person in the list form ya aap usse ek story ki form mein bhi rakh sakte hain lekin description continues right from the beginning till the end now examples of a, descri- a descriptive essay uh, can be a tree in my backyard maybe that there is something really uh, uh, really uh, scary or spooky to that tree that do you want to describe or it's very beautiful and it's something that appeals you and you want to describe that a visit to the children's ward of a hospital uh, that's where you will uh, describe a scene and that will involve uh, smells sounds and people moving around uh, and uh, the objects jo aapko nazar aa rahe hain a hot fudge sunday now this uh, really brings uh, water into your mouth uh, it's 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 a kind of an uh, uh, ice cream jiske uh, upar hot fudge jo hai wo dala hota hai aur wo aap describe kare aur usme bhi aap aisi sensory details dalenge ki padhne wale ko mehsoos ho ke wo shayad us sunday ko dekh raha hai ya kha raha hai what an athlete did in order to make it to the olympics now ye bhi एक डिस्क्रिप्शन डिस्क्रिप्शन हो सकती है हाउ एन एथलीट एथलीट वर्क सो हार्ड टू मेक हिमसेल्फ केपेबल ऑफ और और क्वालिफाई फॉर द ओलंपिक्स सो ये डिफरेंट एग्जांपल्स हैं डिस्क्रिप्टिव एसेज की और डिस्क्रिप्टिव एसेज बहुत कॉमनली स्टूडेंट्स को कहा जाता है लिखने के लिए सो दैट्स वेयर यू नीड अ लॉट ऑफ प्रैक्टिस definition essays a definition essay attempts to define a specific term it could try to pin down the meaning of a specific word or define an abstract concept the analysis goes deeper than a simple dictionary definition it should attempt to explain why the term is defined as such it could define the term directly giving no information other than the explanation of the term or it could imply the definition of the term telling a story that requires the reader to infer the meaning now definition essays may uh, you actually uh, inform uh, somebody about something you give them uh, new information about that uh, thing you explain something aap define karte hain us cheez ko and it, it's far more than just a dic- dictionary definition aap usko bahut zyada detail mein explore karte hain us topic ko so uh, examples of definition essay can be the meaning of an abstract concept like love this this would be definition but but then it is very abstract you just cannot define love in dictionary terms the true meaning and importance of honesty honesty again is something abstract something immaterial ise bhi aap examples ke through explain kar sakte hain it cannot be like uh, ke uh, yahan par milti hai yahan se shuru hui yahan pe khatam hui honesty ko aap is tarah se describe nahi kar sakte and how the meaning of family goes deeper than just your blood relatives so this this is a very good topic for definition essay ki family ka meaning jo hai wo sirf blood relatives se zyada detail mein deeper aap kis tarah se dekh sakte hain next are compare contrast essays the compare contrast essay discusses the similarities and differences between two things people concepts and places now ye wale essays bhi bahut technical hote hain because in mein aapko likhne ke liye bahut specific transition words use karne hain aur un transition words ki usage hoti hai compare and contrast ke accordingly when you are comparing two things and when you are when you are contrasting uh, the bringing out the contrasting elements between two things these are two separate ideas so they discuss the similarities and differences between two things people concepts places etc isme hamesha do cheeze involved hoti hain the essay could be an unbiased discussion or an attempt to convince the reader of the benefits of one thing person or concept yahan pe do cheeze important hain your uh, definition uh, compare and contrast essay can be either to uh, explore or compare and contrast two things simply to let you know about the similarities and differences or uh, you can 
try to convince the reader about the benefits of one of those things by comparing it with others for example you are comparing two cars uh, the the ferrari with a with a mercedes or with a jaguar so aap uh, अगर आप ये चाह रहे हैं कि आप लोगों को फरारी खरीदने पे कन्विंस करें तो आप थोड़ी सी अपना जो कंपेयर कंट्रास्ट ऐसे है उसके एंड में आप ये बताएंगे दैट फरारी और बीच में भी बताते रहेंगे फरारी इज बेटर इन दिस 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 वे फ्रॉम द अदर कार और अगर आप सिर्फ दोनों की कंपेरिजन कर रहे हैं सिमिलैरिटीज और डिफ्रेंसिस हाईलाइट करें तो यू जस्ट हैव टू डू दैट टिल दी एंड इट कुड ऑल्सो भी रिटर्न सिम्पली टू एंटरटेन द रीडर और टू अराइव एट एन इन साइट इन टू ह्यूमन नेचर the essay could discuss both similarities and similarities and differences or it could just focus on one or the other a comparison essay usually discusses the similarities between two things while the contrast essay discusses the difference ye dono cheeze aapko yaad rakhni hai ye comparison essay mein do cheezon ki similarities batai jati hai aur contrast mein aap unke different elements contrasting elements jo hai wo nikalte hain and examples for comparative uh, compare contrast essay may be the likenesses and differences between two places like new york city and los angeles the similarities and differences between two religions like christianity and judaism two people like my brother and myself so these uh, contrast and compare uh, essays are very interesting to write about agar aap differences uh, place um, likhna chahte hain new york or los angeles mein so you need to do a lot of research regarding that or uh, उसमें आपको दोनों की सिमिलैरिटीज और डिफरेंसेस निकालने हैं सिमिलैरिटीज डिफरेंस बिटवीन टू रिलीजन ऑफ कोर्स दैट आल्सो नीड्स फैक्चुअल इन्फॉर्मेशन बिकॉज रिलीजन इज सच अ टॉपिक जिसके बारे में आप किसी किस्म की कोई गलत बात नहीं लिख सकते देन टू पीपल लाइक माय ब्रदर एंड माई सेल्फ दो लोगों को कंपेयर करना इज इवन मोर अम्यूजिंग इसमें आपका ऐसे थोड़ा ह्यूमरस भी हो सकता है एंड इट्स वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग then we have the cause and effect essays cause and effect essay may explain why a volcano erupts and what happens afterwards what happens after a loved one's death कॉज एंड इफेक्ट एसेज बेसिकली होते हैं जब किसी वजह से कुछ हो गया है और उसका इफेक्ट क्या हुआ है लाइक अ वॉलकैनो इरप्ट एंड वॉट हैपन्स लेटर एक फ्लड के बाद क्या हुआ कॉज एंड इफेक्ट एसेज जो है वो फ्लड कैसे आया और क्या हुआ उसके बाद क्या हुआ ये आपका कॉज एंड इफेक्ट एसे हो सकता है एंड देन वॉट हैपन्स आफ्टर लवड वन डाय सो ये एक इमोशनल एसे हो सकता है तो कॉज इफेक्ट एसे एक्सप्लेन वाई और हाउ सम इवेंट हैपन एंड वॉट रिजल्टेड फ्रॉम द इवेंट्स दिस एसे इज अ स्टडी ऑफ द रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन टू और मोर इवेंट्स और एक्सपीरियंसिस द एसे कुड डिस्कस बोथ कॉजेज एंड इफेक्ट और इट कुड सिंपली एड्रेस वन और दी अदर आप दोनों में से कोई एक डिस्क्राइब कर सकते हैं या दोनों कर सकते हैं अकॉज एसे यूजली डिस्कस द रीजन वाई समथिंग हैपन और एल इफेक्ट एसे डिस्कस इज वॉट हैपन्स आफ्टर अ स्पेसिफिक इवेंट और सर्कमस्टांस ना यू कैन बी आस्ट टू राइट कॉजेज ऑफ पोल्यूशन अगर आपका एसे का टॉपिक है कॉजेज ऑफ पोल्यूशन यू आर ओनली सपोज टू टॉक अबाउट दैट आपने पोल्यूशन को डिफाइन करना है और उसके बाद उसकी कॉजेज बतानी है नॉट सपोज टू गिव अस द सजेशंस टू टू इराडिकेटेड आपको काइंड जो हैं वो पोल्यूशन की डिस्क्राइब नहीं करनी आपको सिर्फ बताना है कि कॉजेज क्या क्या हैं पोल्यूशन की दैट्स इट एंड अगर आपसे पूछा जा रहा है वट आर द इफेक्ट्स ऑफ एक्स्ट्रॉर्डनरी मोबाइल यूसेज इन द मॉडर्न टाइम्स तो आप उसके सिर्फ इफेक्ट्स बताएंगे मॉडर्न मोबाइल यूज क्यों हो रही है और कहाँ से शुरू हुई वो सब आप नहीं बताएंगे यू यू जस्ट कीप योर एस से फोकस्ड टू वन पॉइंट the example below shows a cause essay one that would explain how and why an event happened if this cause essay were about a volcano eruption it might go something like pressure and heat built up beneath the earth's surface the effect of this was an enormous volcano eruption this is just one sentence out of this cause essay mein aap uh, is tarah likhenge ki uh, for example agar aap volcano eruption ke bare mein likh rahe hain to aap pehle reason bataenge ki wajah kya hui volcano eruption ki and then uska effect ye hua ki enormous volcano eruption hue or uh, the next example shows an effect essay one that would explain all the uh, effects that happened after a specific event like a volcanic eruption if this effect essay were about a volcanic eruption again it might go something like the eruption caused many terrible things to happen it destroyed homes forests and polluted the atmosphere ab agar usi essay ko aap effect essay kar denge to usme aap sirf effects ka zikr karenge cause ki taraf nahi jayenge now we move on to another most popular kind of essay writing that is narrative the narrative essay tells a story 
it can also be called a short story generally the narrative essay is conversational in style and tells of a personal experience experience it is most commonly written in the first person that uses i this essay could tell of a single life shaping event or simply a mundane daily experience aap narrative essay mein story short story ki form mein bahut conversational style mein aap अपनी लाइफ का कोई बहुत इम्पॉर्टेंट लाइफ शेपिंग बहुत मेमोरेबल इवेंट भी बता सकते हैं और किसी आम से एक्सपीरियंस का जिक्र भी कर सकते हैं फॉर एग्जांपल अ संडे शॉपिंग स्प्री आप संडे को शॉपिंग पे गए दैट्स दैट्स वेरी समथिंग वेरी कॉमन समथिंग वेरी ट्रिवियल दैट यू डू एवरी डे एवरी संडे तो आप उसके बारे में भी लिख सकते हैं दैट वुड बी ए नैरेटिव एस एंड इफ यू वॉन्ट टू टॉक अबाउट द मोस्ट मेमोरेबल इवेंट इन योर लाइफ तो उससे भी आप नैरेटिव स्टाइल में लिख सकते हैं नैरेटिव एस ए कुड टेल ऑफ माई ब्रदर in my fishing trips a boring trip to the grocery store that is that is very mundane mundane ka matlab hota hai bahut aam sa dull common my near death experience at the beach now this can be a very important thing for the person because uh, they they almost died and uh, they they got a new life so is tarah ke essays jo hote hain wo narrative essays hote hain next is process the process essay describes how something is done it generally explains actions that should be performed in a series it can explain in detail how to accomplish a specific task or it can show how an individual came to a certain personal uh, awareness the essay could be in the form of step by step instructions or in story form with the instructions explanations subtly given along the way now the process essay uh, कैन गिव यू द प्रोसेस ऑफ समथिंग किसी चीज़ के कोई चीज़ कैसे होती है डिफरेंट सीरीज ऑफ इवेंट्स हाउ वेरियस स्टेप्स आर फॉलोड टू डू दैट एंड आर डिटेल्स अबाउट हाउ टू अकम्पलिश अ स्पेसिफिक टास्क और शो हाउ एन इंडिविजुअल केम टू अ सर्टन पर्सनल अवेयरनेस लाइफ में उसकी डिफरेंट स्टेप्स आए डिफरेंट स्टेजेज आए उसके बाद दी एस ए कुड बी इन द फॉर्म ऑफ स्टेप बाई स्टेप इंस्ट्रक्शन और इन द स्टोरी फॉर्म इसे भी आप थोड़ा सा नैरेटिव स्टाइल में लेके जा सकते हैं प्रोसेस एस ए में एक्सप्लेन हाउ टू प्रॉपरली री पॉट अ प्लांट एक पौधे को एक पॉट से निकाल के दूसरे में किस तरह से लगाना है हाउ एन इंडिविजुअल केम टू अप्रिशिएट हार्डवर्क एक इंसान की जिंदगी की हिस्टोरी के उस को मेहनत का जो फायदा है वो कैसे पता चला सो दिस कैन बी योर प्रोसेस ऐसे argumentative essay next kind is argumentative essay an argumentative essay is one that attempts to persuade the reader to uh, the writer's point of view this is uh, this as the name suggests this essay gives arguments about your point of view and you try to convince your reader to your point of view the writer can either be serious or funny but always tries to convince the reader of the validity of his or her opinion चाहे आप इसको ह्यूमरस टच दें या इसे आप सीरियस uh, रखें तो आपका जो uh, मकसद होता है दैट इज स्टिल कन्विंसिंग द रीडर ऑफ द वैलिडिटी ऑफ योर ओन पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू द एस ए मे आर गू ओपनली और इट मे अटैम्प्ट टू सटली परसुएट द रीडर बाई यूजिंग आयरनी और सार्केज आप बहुत ओपनली भी आर्ग्यू uh, कर सकते हैं कि ये सही है ये सही है ये सही है एंड आई वॉन्ट यू टू बी कन्विंस्ड अबाउट इट अदरवाइज या आप उसमें आयरनी यूज करके थोड़े थोड़े से ट्विस्टेड तरीके से भी परसुएट कर सकते हैं एन आर्ग्यूमेंटेटिव एस ए में परसुएड रीडर दैट ही और शी शुड यूज पब्लिक ट्रांसपोर्टेशन इंस्टेड ऑफ ड्राइविंग कैट्स आर बेटर देन डॉग्स आउ कैट्स आर बेटर देन डॉग्स कैन बी अमरस एस ए और ही और शी शुड यूज पब्लिक ट्रांसपोर्टेशन इंस्टेड ऑफ ड्राइविंग कैन बी अ वेरी गुड आर्ग्यूमेंटेटिव एस ए बिकॉज इसमें आपको आर्ग्यूमेंट uh, देने हैं जस्टिफिकेशन के वाई पब्लिक ट्रांसपोर्ट एंड वाई नॉट ड्राइविंग क्रिटिकल एस ए एनालाइज द स्ट्रेंथ वीकनेसेज एंड मेथड ऑफ सम वन एल्स इज वर्क येस क्रिटिकल एस एज जो होते हैं ये हम यूजली लिखते हैं किसी के लिटरेरी वर्क के ऊपर फॉर एग्जाम्पल यू पिक अप शेक्सपियर प्लेस एंड यू पिक एनी वन ऑफ दोज और उसके ऊपर आप एक क्रिटिकल एनालिसिस जो है वो डिवेलप करते हैं सो दैट वुड हेल्प यू राइट क्रिटिकली और क्रिटिकली लिखने का मतलब ये होता है कि आप उसमें अपना पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू देते हैं आप राइटर के पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू को चैलेंज uh, करने की भी कहीं कहीं कोशिश करते हैं कि राइटर ने ये लिखा तो क्यों लिखा ऐसा नहीं था ऐसा हो, होना चाहिए था या कुछ ऐसी चीज़ें क्रिटिकल ऐसे एनालाइज द स्ट्रेंथ्स वीकनेसेस एंड मेथड्स ऑफ समवन एल्सेस वर्क 
generally these essays begin with a brief overview of the main um, points of the text movie or piece of art followed by an analysis of the work's meaning aap shuru jab is essay ko karte hain to it's basically an overview of uh, the uh, person's essay ya aap koi movie ko critically analyze kar rahe hain kisi piece of art ko kar rahe hain ya kisi purane play ya novel ya kisi book ko kar rahe hain to pehle aap uska overview dete hain brief overview and then you start off with the meaning of that work and try to analyze that it should then discuss how well the author or creator accomplishes his her goals and makes his her points a critical essay can be written about another essay story book poem movie or work of art it can be written about any of these things it you can just pick up any one's essay and try to uh, critically analyze it you can use a story a book movie a work of art even paintings ke upar critical analysis jo hai wo aapko milte hain critical uh, essay may analyze how shakespeare presents the character othello in his play othello the strengths and weaknesses of the movie uh, children of a lesser god the use of color in monet's painting sunflowers ab uh, ye jo essays hote hain ye experts se hi uh, likhwaye jate hain a literature student or a literary critic can write about shakespeare's character othello in his tragedy othello the strengths and weaknesses of the movie uh, children of a lesser god uh, ye bhi wohi likh sakta hai jo movie ki technicalities ko samajhta hai ya jisne movie dekhi hui hai or the use of color in monet's painting can uh, painting ko analyze karna critically is also supposed to be done by an artist or an art critic so these are uh, the kinds of uh, essays uh, basic types of essays uh, that could come your way इन द फ्यूचर तो आपको अगर पता है कि आप कौन सा ऐसे जो है वो लिखना चाहते हैं या आपको टॉपिक दिया गया वो किस कैटेगरी में आता है तो यू कैन ईजिली फाइंड आउट हाउ टू गो अबाउट दैट और बहुत अच्छा ऐसे जो है वो क्रिएट कर सकते हैं तो लुकिंग एट दिस सैम्पल ऐसे वी सी दैट दिस ऐसे कैन बी यूज एज अ मॉडल टू सी हाउ यू कैन राइट गुड एसेज the the essay below demonstrates the principles of writing a basic essay uh, the different parts of the essay have been labeled the thesis statement is in bold the topic sentences are in italics and each main point is underlined when you write your own essay of course you will not need to mark these parts of the essay unless your teacher has asked you to do this so let's quickly go through this essay it's basically about uh, dogs and cats why people should prefer dogs over cats as a pet so this is a sample of basic essay uh, to give you just a brief overview of how uh, you can create a good essay we will just uh, go through it we've been given uh, the uh, thesis statement in bold this is the thesis statement then we have the topic sentences are in italics all the paragraphs that have the their first sentences as topic sentences they are in italics and um, your uh, each main point is underlined jo important baatein hain paragraph mein wo underline ki hui hain a dog is man's best friend that common saying may contain some truth but dogs are not the only animal friends whose companionship people enjoy for many people a cat is their best friend despite what dog lovers may believe cats make excellent house pets as they are good companions they are civilized members of the household and they are easy to care of Now, ये आपका थीसिस स्टेटमेंट है इसमें देखें डिस्पाइट वट डॉग लवर्स में बिलीव लाइक द पर्सन हैज गिवन दी पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू एज वेल गिविंग द रीडर अ वेरी क्लियर आइडिया दैट ही इज नॉट गोइंग टू आर्ग्यू फॉर द डॉग्स ही इज गोइंग टू आर्ग्यू फॉर द कैट्स कैट्स मेक एक्सेलेंट हाउस पेट्स एज दे आर गुड कंपेनियंस और बेसिक कुछ जनरल एक दो फायदे कैट्स के बहुत अच्छा कंपेनियन होने के उन्होंने यहाँ मैंशन कर दिए ताकि आपको बाद में उनको इलेबोरेट करना कर, कर ले दे आर सिविलाइज मेम्बर्स ऑफ द हाउस होल्ड एंड दे आर इजी टू टेक केयर ऑफ इन द फर्स्ट प्लेस पीपल इन्जॉय द कंपेनियनशिप ऑफ कैट्स द फर्स्ट पैराग्राफ हैज इट्स टॉपिक सेंटेंस एज द पीपल इन्जॉय कंपेनियनशिप ऑफ कैट्स मैनी कैट्स आर अफेक्शनेट 
and some important points are underlined they will snuggle up and ask to be petted or scratched under the chin you can resist or uh, who can resist a purring cat if uh, they are not feeling affectionate cats are generally quite playful they love to chase balls and feathers or just about anything dangling from a string they especially enjoy playing when their owners are participating in the game contrary to popular opinion cats can be trained Uh, people may be believe that cats ko train nahi kiya ja sakta as compared to dogs lekin uh, cats ko train kiya ja sakta hai using rewards and punishments just like with a dog a cat can be trained to avoid unwanted behavior or perform tricks cats will even fetch now this again is something new because uh, with dogs we usually throw something away and they go and get it back for us and cats can also do that now in the second place cats are civilized members of the household Now this is another topic sentence for your second paragraph unlike dogs cats do not bark or uh, make other loud noises most cats don't even mew very often they generally lead a quiet existence cats also don't often have accidents mother cats train their kittens to use the litter box and most cats will use it without fail from that time on even stray cats usually understand the concept when shown the box and will use it regularly cats do have claws and owners must make provisions for this A tall scratching post in a favorite uh, cat area of the house will often keep the cat content to leave the furniture alone. As a last resort, of course, cats can be declawed. Of course, their their nails or their claws can be uh, the, the 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 harsh part can be cut off, and that can be saved. Now, looking at uh, the third paragraph, we see that uh, the. Uh, part that is underlined is uh, lastly one of the most attractive features of cats as house pets is their ease of care cats do not have to be walked you have to take a dog out they get plenty of exercise in the house as they play and they do their business in the litter box cleaning a litter box is a quick painless procedure cats also take care of their own grooming bathing a cat is almost never necessary because or under ordinary circumstances cat clean themselves cats are uh, more particular about personal cleanliness than people are in addition cats can be left home alone for a few hours without fear unlike some pets most cats will not destroy the furnishings when left alone they are content to go about their usual activities until their owners return and then get the good concluding paragraph look at the concluding paragraph cats are low maintenance civilized companions people who have small living quarters or less time for pet care should appreciate these characteristics of cats however many people who have plenty of space and time still opt to have a cat because they love the cat personality in many ways cats are the ideal house pet now you can see that this paragraph is very simple isme koi mote mote dictionary ke lafz istemal nahi kiye hain uh, it's not something jo uh, बहुत मुश्किल लैंग्वेज में लिखा गया है बिल्कुल सिंपल स्ट्रेट फॉरवर्ड इन्फॉर्मेशन है विद ऑल द टॉपिक सेंटेंसेस राइट एट देयर प्लेस कन्वेइंग ऑल द मीनिंग वेरी क्लियरली आपके हर पैराग्राफ के एंड में कंक्लूडिंग सेंटेंस भी है और आपका कंक्लूडिंग पैराग्राफ बहुत अच्छा बहुत वेल ऑर्गेनाइज और बहुत मीनिंगफुल लिखा हुआ है सो when you are uh, writing an essay you can use this sample basic essay as a model look at it and try to see ke aapko pehle isme thesis statement dena hota hai ek essay mein uske baad topic sentences hote hain aur phir aapke paas har paragraph ka alag alag ek point hota hai main point aur end mein aapka concluding sentence uh, concluding paragraph hota hai so this is how a basic sample essay can be used as a model for you to create good essays now moving on uh, this uh, handout uh, has a very useful information for you regarding uh, essay writing uh, we will discuss uh, what makes a good essay by looking at a a, a very detailed essay uh, jisko teachers ne check karke um, मार्क किया है और उसमें जो इम्पॉर्टेंट बातें हैं जो आपके ऐसे में होनी चाहिए उनको हाईलाइट किया हुआ है सो वी हैव इन्फॉर्मेशन ऑन दी दिस इज़ दी ऐसे टॉपिक देन द सैम्पल ऐसे जहाँ पे जिस चीज़ के बारे में कोई बात आपको समझानी है उसे हाईलाइट करके उससे रिलेटेड इन्फॉर्मेशन यहाँ ग्रे बॉक्स में दी है सो वील डिस्कस ऑल दीज देन एंड 
वन बाय वन वील सी के आपके पैराग्राफ में uh, हर ऐसे में कौन कौन सी इम्पोर्टेंट चीज़ें हैं जो आपने uh, जिनका आपने ध्यान रखना है सो इट इज़ वॉट मेक्स अ गुड एस ए रीड द टॉपिक एंड सैम्पल एस ए देन स्टडी द कमेंट्स क्लिक ऑन द हाई लाइटेड टेक्सट फॉर कमेंट्स अबाउट एकेडेमिक राइटिंग कन्वेंशन क्लिक ऑन द नोट्स इन द मार्जिन फॉर कमेंट्री ऑन दी एस ए नफकोर्स यू डोंट हैव टू क्लिक ऑन इट यू हैव इट राइट हेयर उसको क्लिक करके आपके सामने डिस्प्ले कर दिया है लेट्स रीड थ्रू इट द एस ए टॉपिक इज डिस्क्रिप्टिव एक पूरा सेंटेंस की फॉर्म में इशू या आर्ग्यूमेंट की फॉर्म में आपको एस ए टॉपिक दिया हुआ है बर्थ रेट्स आर फॉलोइंग इन डिवेलप्ड कंट्रीज देर इज वन सिंपल रीजन फॉर दिस यंग पीपल नाउ अडेज आर जस्ट टू सेल्फिश एंड टू सेल्फ सेंटर्ड टू हैव चिल्ड्रन एंड दिस इज पर्टिकुलरली ट्रू ऑफ वीमेन टू वट एक्सटेंट डू यू अग्री विद दिस व्यू support your argument with relevant readings and evidence now this is a very uh, uh, long full length essay uh, kind of uh, uh, a project jo ke kisi student ko diya gaya tha uh, aapke term ke end ke liye aur isme aapko relevant readings mein uh, books ya articles padh ke wahan se aapko references bhi dene hain aur references ka tarika bhi sample essay mein diya hua hai we'll discuss that in detail let's go through the topic once again because it's a detailed topic and we have to see ki aapko topic samajh mein aaya hai ya nahi birth rates are falling in developed countries birth rates developed falling developed countries there is one simple reason for this उन्होंने एक रीज़न हाईलाइट किया है और उसी के ऊपर आपको डिस्कशन करनी है यंग पीपल नाउ अडेज आर जस्ट टू सेल्फिश एंड टू सेल्फ सेंटर्ड टू हैव चिल्ड्रन यंग यंग चिल्ड्रन किड्स यंग पीपल इफ दे गेट मैरिड दे आर टू सेल्फ सेंटर्ड अपने करियर अपनी अपनी उनको इतनी प्रभाव होती कि दे डोंट वॉन्ट टू हैव किड्स एंड दिस इज पर्टिकुलरली ट्रू ऑफ वेमेन नाउ दे हैव क्लेम्ड दे हैव गिवन अ स्टेटमेंट कि ये औरतों के बारे में सबसे ज़्यादा ये बात नोटिस की गई है दैट दे डोंट वॉन्ट टू हैव किड्स सो डू यू अग्री with this view and how to how much to what extent and support your argument with relevant readings and evidence now the sample essay starts off with an introductory paragraph jisme uh, they have uh, traced or kind of analyzed the uh, topic countries in the developed world have seen a big shift in attitudes to population growth several generations ago it was generally believed that too many babies were being born and that societies should try to reduce their populations nowadays however the concern is the reverse that birth rates are falling too low and that urgent action is needed to encourage people to have more children but what are the causes of this trend now uh, starting off uh, they have uh tried to trace the background of the problem jo issue is aise topic mein bataya hai usko uska background ko trace karne ki koshish ki hai that in the in the older times in the olden times developed countries mein ye issue tha ke abadi bahut zyada ho gayi hai there is a, a lot of population growth and too many babies are being born but now it's totally reverse now it is that there the, the birth rates are falling less babies are being born and people should be encouraged to have kids because and and then they quickly come back to their topic by but what are the causes of this trend and how much are the attitudes and lifestyles of young people to blame this essay will consider a number of explanations for the so called baby crash my argument will be that will be that to hold young people responsible is neither valid nor helpful now the person has given their argument right from the beginning that they do not agree with this statement to what extent do you agree unhone clearly bata diya that my argument will be to that to hold young people responsible is neither valid nor helpful so when you are given an argumentative essay right in the first paragraph you have to tell the reader what claim what argument are you supporting whether you are supporting the middle ground aap dono ke bare mein baat karna chahte hain ya kisi ek ko support kare ya kisi ek ke bare mein kisi ko convince karne ki koshish kare that you have to tell in the first paragraph The best explanation I believe is to be found in the condition of increased economic insecurity faced by the young. Now let's look at I believe. I believe has been highlighted iske bare mein ye observation hai using I the first word person pronouns. In the previous handout we talked about um, what uh, 
mode of address should there be in a paragraph so mostly uh, an essay uh, is written in in first person pronoun so yahan par bhi isko usi tarah kiya because it's an argumentative essay so i believe ke bare mein likha hai notice how the student uses i in his essay the best explanation i believe is and in the previous sentence another first person pronoun is used my argument is that see because they are arguing about something and that's totally their personal opinion some students have the impression that they are not allowed to use these words in their written work but in fact they can often be found in academic writing now aapne dekha hoga jab aap pichli classes mein essays likhte the to aapko mana kiya jata hai ki i ka pronoun use nahi karna halanki aisa nahi hota when you are argumentative you are into argumentative writing to usme aap academic writing mein aksar i first person pronoun jo hai wo use karte hain in general the best place to use them is in the introduction when we are presenting when you are presenting your argument jab aap apna argument de rahe hain to of course it's very natural ke aap jo i ka pronoun hai wo use karenge but if you are concerned that it is not okay to use i you can use other expressions uh, which avoid self reference but which mean much the same thing this essay will argue that remember now this essay will argue that now if instead of saying i believe or my point of view is you can say this essay uh, will argue that uh, or uh, the uh, arguments the following arguments will be explored in this essay things like these uh, remember though that the really important issue is not the words you use to present your argument but that your essay actually has a clear argument that is more important right so um, this was uh, the observation on i believe let's move on to second paragraph now you see uh, this is another observation about the paragraph length try to keep your paragraph a reasonable length now look at this paragraph is ye bahut lamba nahi hai aur padhne mein aapko bahut aasani hoti hai isko aapko dekhkar aapko tedious nahi lagta ke oh god isko kaun padhega let's just forget about reading it aur aap jaldi jaldi isme se skim scan karte hain aisa kuch bhi nahi hai iski bahut reasonable length hai aur aap aaram se isko padhte hain so most paragraphs in this essay are about 7 to 8 sentences long it's not line it's 7 to 8 sentences long and that's that that is an ideal length for a paragraph in such a long essay now the birth rate has fallen dramatically in many parts of the world to take several examples in europe in 1960 the total fertility rate was about 2.6 births per female but in 1996 it had fallen to 1.4 and then this reference has been given you have to add references when you have picked information from somebody else's work agar aapne kisi aur ki kitab article ya internet website se koi cheez utha kar apne document mein dali hai to aapko har hal mein uska reference dena hai aap reference nahi dete hain that con- that is considered plagiarism or plagiarism is a crime and uh, these days people are um, being put behind bars because of plagiarism unke thesis cancel ho jate hain unke research papers cancel ho jate hain aur uske baad unko likhne ki ijazat nahi hoti because plagiarism is a crime in the academic world so jab bhi aap kisi ki writing mein se kuch uthaye to usse copy kare lekin refer zarur kare ki ye aapne fala ki book se fala page fala time se liya hai so in in many asian countries similar declines have been experienced japan now has a birth rate of only about 1.3 and hong kong has fallen to below 1.0 now yahan bhi reference diya hua hai ki ye hong kong ka birth rate aapne ki kahan se kis reference se liya uh, a tfr or total fertility rate of below 2.0 means that a country's population is not replaced and thus there is a net population decline this aging of the population has the potential to create serious problems fewer children being born means that in the long term a smaller proportion of the populace will be economically productive while the larger popul- proportion will be old and economically dependent in the form of pension health care and other social services most experts agree that these graying societies will not be able uh, to escape serious social and economic decline in the future now uh, this paragraph basically contains all the statistic data ab dekhe birth rate ke bare mein unhone yahan pe likha hai uh, about paragraph uh, tha and then this citation uh, citation 1 
اس کو سائٹیشن کہتے ہیں جب آپ کسی کی کتاب یا کسی کے آرٹیکل سے کوئی انفرمیشن لے کر اپنے حصے میں ڈالتے اور اسے جب اس طرح بریکٹ میں نام اور کاما اور ایئر آف دا پبلیکیشن آف دیٹ بک یا آرٹیکل لکھتے ہیں تو اسے سائٹیشن کہتے ہیں اب سائٹیشنس آر یوز ٹو انڈیکیٹ دا سورس آف دی آئیڈیاز یو ہیو یوزڈ ان یور ایسے اب یہ سارے آئیڈیاز رائٹر کے اپنے نہیں ہیں انہوں نے فیکچوئل انفارمیشن کسی کی کتاب سے کسی نیوز پیپر کسی ویب سائٹ سے تو لی ہوگی سو دے ہیو ٹو ریفر ٹو دیٹ نوٹ دیٹ دیر آر ٹو مین سائٹیشن سسٹمس دی آتھر ڈیٹ سسٹم آلسو نون ایز ہاورڈ اینڈ دا فٹ نوٹ سسٹم آلسو نون ایز آکسفرڈ تو یہاں پہ ہاورڈ سسٹم یوز کیا ہوا ہے ان دس ایس سے دی آتھر ڈیٹ سسٹم ہیز بین یوزڈ آتھر کا نام اور ساتھ آگے ڈیٹ ہوتی ہے آف پبلیکیشن آلویز چیک وچ سسٹم از ریکوائرڈ ان ایچ آف یور سبجیکٹس آپ کے ٹیچرز آپ کو بتا دیں گے کہ آپ کا ایس اے میں کس طرح آپ نے ریفرنس دینے ہیں فٹ نوٹ کے فارم میں دینے ہیں یا آتھر ڈیٹ آکسفرڈ ہارورڈ اسٹائل میں دینے ہیں ناؤ ان ایوری پیراگراف دا فرسٹ سینٹینس گیوز یو دا ٹاپک سینٹینس کہ اب آگے کیا ہوگا فرسٹ سینٹینس دیکھیے سو واٹ آر دا کازز آف دس ٹرینڈ اینڈ واٹ کین بی ڈن ٹو اسٹاپ اٹ اب یہ جو ٹرینڈ ہے ہیونگ لیسر چلڈرن ہیونگ نو چلڈرن ایٹ آل اس ٹرینڈ کی وجہ کیا ہے یہ آپ کو اس پیراگراف میں پتہ چلے گا ون کامن اپروچ ہیز بین ٹو لے دا بلیم آن یگ پیپل اینڈ دیر سپوزڈلی سیلف سینٹرڈ ویلیوز اٹ از آرگیوڈ دیٹ ان ڈیولپڈ کنٹریز وی ناؤ لیو ان اے پوسٹ مٹیریلسٹ ایج ویئر انڈیویجولس ڈو ناٹ ہیو ٹو بی سو کنسرنڈ اباؤٹ بیسک مٹیریل کنڈیشنس ٹو سروائو Thus, people, especially the young, have become more focused on the value of self-realization and the satisfaction of personal preferences at the expense of traditional values like raising a family. A strong vision, a version of this view is put forward by Japanese sociologist Masahiro Yamada, cited in Ashby 2000. He uses the term parasite singles to refer to grown children in their 20s and 30s who have left school and are employed but remain unmarried and continue live, uh, living at home with their parents. These young people are spoiled, he says, and interested only in their own pleasure, mainly in the form of shopping. According to Yamada, it is this focus on self more than any other factor that is reasonable, responsible for Japan's languishing birth rate. In other developed countries, there is a similar tendency for the young to remain at home enjoying a single lifestyle and a similar tendency for older people to interpret this as selfishness. Now, according to Yamada has been highlighted here, let's see what it says, reporting expressions. When you are summarizing the ideas of a writer, you need to use reporting expressions like the ones used here. He uses the term according to Yamada, he says. So, uh, ab Yamada is the name of a writer, in his book, the information you have taken and you have reproduced it in your essay, you have to use it as you have taken it from Yamada. Se liye. So, according to Yamada, he says, he believes, he says. So, uh, یہ چیزیں آپ نے ہی یوزز دا ٹرم یہ آپ نے ضرور ہائی لائٹ کرنی ہے نیکسٹ پیراگراف بٹ از اٹ ریزنیبل ٹو ایٹریبیوٹ دا بیبی کریش ٹو دا پلیجر سیکنگ ویلیوز آف دا یگ سو اگین آپ کا آلموسٹ ہر پیراگراف ایک کوشچن سے شروع ہو رہا ہے اینڈ دیٹ کوشچن لیڈز اس ٹوڈز واٹ دی آنسر وڈ بی اور آپ کا پیراگراف جو ہے وہ کیا کہے گا The problem with this view is that whenever young people are surveyed about their attitudes to family, not only do they say they want to have children, they also express preference for family sizes that are on average above the replacement level. As an example, McDonald quotes an Australian study that found that women aged 20-24 expected to have an average of, of 2.33 children in their lifetime. Findings like this suggest that the values of the young are not at all incompatible with the idea of having a family. So, uh, the person is trying to draw on their uh, argument that he is not supporting this uh, argument that uh, young people are to be blamed and he is giving us very uh, solid justifications and points that he believes so. It seems then that as young people progress through their 20s and 30s, they encounter obstacles along the way that prevent them from fulfilling their plans to be parents. Now, he blames Uh, um, this uh, baby crash on something else but he hasn't talked about it here it seems ko highlight kiya wa, let's see what it says careful language it seems that in this paragraph the student wants to reject the view in the topic that young people's selfishness is to blame for the declining birth rate notice how he does this in a careful way by using expressions like findings like this suggest that It seems then that 
being careful about the way you express your claims is a distinctive feature of academic styles now aapko uh, it seems then you you just simply don't say that uh, the argument that is uh, in the uh, essay topic is totally wrong you he he just says it seems uh findings like this suggest that wo totally usko negate karne se uh, wo avoid kare so this is called the use of practical uh, careful language and you have to be very uh, vigilant about that aapko ek tam se uh, paragraph uh, essay ke topic mein diye hue claim ko reject nahi karna hota balki proper justifications arguments dene ke baad usko prove karna hota hai the next paragraph is some conservative thinkers believe the main obstacle is the changed role and status of women according to this view because young women now have gather greater educational and career opportunities than in previous generations they are finding the idea of family and motherhood less attractive thus educated middle class women are de- delaying marriage and childbirth or even rejecting motherhood altogether it is claimed that women's improved status which may be a good thing in itself has had the unfortunate consequence of threatening population stability uh, this is another claim for them to um, positively highlight their topic but there are several problems with this argument for one the lowest tfrs in europe are found in spain and italy both more traditional male oriented societies which offer fewer opportunities to women in comparison sweden which has been a leading country in advancing the rights of women enjoys a higher tfrs now these are very very convincing uh, points on the part of the uh, writer of this essay uh, they are uh, he or she has totally Uh, given very solid arguments about their negating the claim that is there in the topic aur wo bahut strongly is baat ko disagree kar rahe hain ki young people are the um, are to be blamed for this baby crash ke bacche jo hain wo bahut kam paida ho rahe hain duniya mein even though it is still below replacement refers to this contrast as the feminist paradox and concludes that empowerment of women actually ensures against a very low birth rate my emphasis another problem with trying to link improved education levels for women to low birth rates is that fertility in developed countries seems to be declining across all education and class levels in a recent surgery a survey of australian census data birrell found that whereas the non tertiary educated group was once very fertile its rate of uh, partnering is now converging towards that of tertiary educated women now uh, empowerment of women ensures against a very low birth rate isme actually jo hai wo um, square brackets mein likha hai ise highlight kiya hai let's see quoting when you quote an author Uh, like uh, chest nice hair you need to use quotation marks and indicate the exact page number in the citation ab yahan pe aap inko quote kar rahe hain ye jo writer hai so exact page number aapne yahan par uh, highlight karna hai page 99 refers to this contrast as the feminist paradox and concludes that ye wali jo baat unhone ki wo is uh, book mein page 99 par ki Sometimes you may need to change the wording of the quote slightly so that it fits into your sentence. If you need to add uh change any words, use square brackets. Ab yahan pe aapko empowerment of women ensures against a very low birth rate. That's the exact quotation. Aapne usme actually add karna hai to uske liye aap uh, square brackets jo hai wo use karenge. If you need to delete words, use omission. That is थ्री डॉट्स ये हमने पंक्चुएशन में पढ़ा हुआ है वाइल्स इट इज ओके टू चेंज द वर्डिंग ऑफ अ कोर्ट यू मस्ट नेवर चेंज इट्स सेंस कोटेशन किसी की किताब से आप लेते हैं कोई इन्फॉर्मेशन उसके वर्ड्स चेंज करने में कोई हर्ज नहीं उसका मीनिंग हरगिज नहीं बदलना है दैट इज कंसिडर्ड प्लेजरिज्म वी कैन समराइज द डिस्कशन टू दिस पॉइंट एज फॉलोज यंग पीपल टूडे इन स्पाइट ऑफ वट सेड अबाउट देयर वैल्यूज स्टिल एक्सप्रेस अ डिजायर टू हैव चिल्ड्रन However, few end up having as many as they say they would like. Now, यहाँ तक जो ऐसे उन्होंने लिखा है उसको उन्होंने points पे summarize कर दिया है. Now, about the bulleted points. Now, this also has a a very controversial uh, uh, view point among students and teachers कि essays में bulleted points नहीं लिखते हैं. So, let's see के यहाँ academic writing experts इस बारे में क्या कहते हैं? Dot points. इन्हें हम dot points कहते हैं जो bulleted points होते हैं. It's okay to use dot points in an essay. 
or numbered points here but use them very sparingly na? there there should be hardly one or two bahut zyada nahi ye na ho ke aapke har paragraph ke baad do char do char bulleted ya dotted points aa rahe hain that would be wrong wo wo totally galat ho jayega so yahan tak unhone essay ko summarize kar diya in do points mein these conclusions suggest that there must be something else involved many writers are now pointing to a different factor the economic condition of young people and their growing sense of insecurity now this can be the basic reason for why young uh, kids young people do not want to have kids peter mcdonald in his article low fertility in australia evidence causes and policy responses discusses some of the things that a couple will consider when they are thinking of having a child one type of thinking is what mcdonald calls rational choice theory where whereby a couple make an assessment of the relative costs and benefits associated with becoming a parent in traditional societies there has usually been an economic benefit in having children because they can be a source of labor to help the family in developed societies however children now constitute an economic cost and so it is argued that the benefits are more of a psychological kind for example enjoying the status of being a parent having baby who will be fun and will grow up to love you having offspring who will carry on the family name the problem mcdonald suggests is that for many couples nowadays the economic cost can easily outweigh any perceived uh, psychological benefits so uh, the the perspective parents these days are thinking more of the economic problems they would face when they have a child rather than the psychological benefits of becoming a parent having a baby to love them having uh, someone to carry on the family name so here peter mcdonald the na name of the writer and the citation is highlighted let's see what it says citation 4 discusses notice how in some citations the author can be part of the sentence peter mcdonald discusses now yahan pe unhone peter mcdonald bracket mein uh, 2000 a year likhke it's uh, uske sath hi in his article discusses some of the things kar diya hai right so uh, this can be done there is no harm in it uh discusses some of the things this is known as an author prominent citation and is very common in academic writing notice the use of reporting verbs in this citation verbs jo discusses hote hain titles use uh, inverted commas jab aap titles likh rahe ho kisi cheez ka dusri jo highlight hui hui cheez hai title kitabon ka ya article ka to uske liye inverted commas for the title of an article use italics for the title of a book that's when you are typing your essay up agar aap likh rahe hain to aap um, simply usko inverted commas mein karenge mcdonald discusses another type of decision making risk aversion theory which he says is also unfavorable to the birth rate according to this theory when we make important decisions in our life uh, lives in our lives if we perceive uncertainty in our environment we usually err on the side of safety in order to avert risk mcdonnell points to a rise in economics uncertainty which he thinks has steered a lot of young people away from life changing decisions like marriage and parenthood now to avert a uh, risk you 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 stop uh, from making um life changing decisions like uh, marriage and parenthood so this can also be another reason uh, indentation of paragraphs ke bare mein yahan par ek important highlight hai it's very important to make it clear to your reader when one paragraph ends and a new one begins in this paragraph uh, number 9 there is some potential for confusion notice how the student has used indenting to make this clear now uh, jobs are no longer lifetimes lifetime jobs There is a strong economic cycle of booms and busts. Geographic mobility may be required for employment purposes. Now, when you are quoting something, when you do it, तो उसको अपने ऐसे में किस तरह से करना है? When you have longer quotations, quotes of more than one sentence in length should be separated from the main text. Notice how these are indented and are in a slightly smaller font. Again, you should indicate the page number. यहाँ पर आपको page number ज़रूर बताना है. जब आप किसी की कोटेशन उठा रहे हैं किसी बुक से और ये थोड़े से स्मॉलर फॉर्म में फॉन्ट में होते हैं एंड दे आर सेपरेट फ्रॉम द रेस्ट ऑफ द पैराग्राफ जिस पैराग्राफ के बाद आ रहे हैं वहाँ पे आप देखें यहाँ एंड में कोलन है और उसके बाद आपकी कोटेशन आ रही है uh, और कोटेशन को आप अलग से सेपरेटली लिखेंगे 
Birrell focuses on increased economic uncertainty for men, referring to the situation in Australia. He discusses men's reluctance to form families in terms of perceived costs and risks. Uh, there are many other uh, costs and risks and see in the end we have all the references. This is how you have to write your essays. In the modern settings, our students are never taught to uh, give references in the end of, of their uh, um, writing uh, because and that creates a lot of problem later because that's that's plagiarism whenever you read somebody's article to write an essay a wo article ki citation aapko apne essay ke end mein deni hoti chahe usme se aapne koi material uthaya hai apne essay ke liye ya nahi aapne wo material padha yahi kafi hai aapne uski citation zarur aapke essay ya thesis ya cheez ke end mein deni hai so it's important that you do that the the, uh, the rest of the paragraph does not have any observations it's just factual data uh, the the person is trying to convince uh, the uh, reader uh, about young people not being responsible for this uh, this population uh, decrease or birth rate failure uh, because uh, there are many economic changes uh, many uh, insecurity problems that they have that's why they uh, they are they are refusing to have uh, kids or um, have uh, get married or have families and then there uh, there are uh, issues of uh, uh, women being empowered to a certain extent they're having s such a level of awareness that they don't want to uh, leave that uh, that independent life and get into marriage and become uh, mothers so this was a a, a very um, resourceful very knowledgeable essay that we talked about that gave us th uh, some idea about what makes a good essay uh, a good essay has uh, uh, very clear references it has uh, a transitional language that is supposed to um, enhance the uh, logical sequence logical smooth flow of the information in the essay it is uh, closely related to your topic it has a very comprehensive uh, beginning paragraph and a very uh, um, comprehensive conclusion let's read the conclusion of this paragraph uh, this essay to see what it tells us about how to write conclusion if we accept that economics has played a significant role in young people choosing to have fewer babies then the key to reversing this trend is for governments to take action to remove this sense of insecurity now see unhone uh, apne arguments sare develop karne ke baad the last paragraph they have uh, given suggestions about how to improve the situation if we accept that economic problem and insecurity is something that is uh, stopping young people to have more kids and uh, in increase the population to a certain level then governments are supposed to take steps to decrease this insecurity a number of policy approaches have been suggested some writers have focused on the need for better welfare provisions for families like paid parental leave family allowances access to child care etc others have called for more radical economic reforms that would increase job security and raise the living standards of the young it is hard to know what remedies are needed What seems clear however is that young people are most unlikely to reproduce simply because their elders have told them that it is selfish to do otherwise. Castigating the young will not have the effect of making them willing parents. Instead, it is likely to just make them increasingly resentful children. A very uh, very convincing end that they have given to their essay. So, uh, this essay gave us very clear uh, indications about how to uh, write a good essay and these gray areas uh, are all um, very important information for you all to incorporate in your essays whenever you are writing now to quickly revise what we did today we talked about essay writing in detail uh, we talked about kinds of essays uh, including the narrative descriptive argumentative discussive uh, imaginative definition essay cause and effect essay and uh, uh, one or two other kinds uh, in detail with examples and then uh, 
we talked about characteristics of an essay by looking at a longer sample uh, that helped us understand uh, what are the important characteristics of an essay and how you can incorporate those in your um, writings and we also looked at a sample essay uh, to help you understand uh, what are the important components of an essay and uh, so that when you write an essay you know how you have to develop it in the next lecture we will talk about some important uh, key concepts to writing essays and this brings us to the end of our lecture number 19 uh, we'll uh, see you again in the next lecture thank you very much